What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of I Try Drawing. Today, I just got you with a little bit of clickbait. But don't go. Sort of. So, I am a patron of a wonderful artist named Patrick Brown. He, in fact, works for Marvel. He does a lot of amazing pieces for Marvel. He does some fan art for Marvel. He does He just works for Marvel, all right? But I am a patron, and once a month, he does a monthly project. And this month, he asked your boy to collab along with all his other patrons. So there you go. That was a clickbait. He didn't really ask me. He asked him soul and we kind of paid for that. So anyway, um, in his monthly challenge, he asked us to draw any Marvel character that we would like. And he's going to draw one as well. And we're going to put it into a big collaborative piece. It's going to be awesome. So today, I tried drawing. Spider-Girl, a collab piece with Marvel. Marvel's artist, Patrick Brown. Let's get started. All right, everybody, so to start, I'm gonna go with my regular sketch process. I use my guidelines like always. It helps me with the proportions on the face and the proportions in the body and the pose. So I always use my guidelines. I go with this thick figure just to get the pose down. I did do some thumbnails just to see how I wanted her to be posed. But uh, yeah, real quick, that line I just did, it's called the line of action. That long line down the middle, line of action. It just helps you figure out the flow of the pose. All right, I know that's the, that's the, the line I'm going to use to make sure she just stays proportionate and she stays in that sort of curve i guess but yeah that's the line of action i don't always use it but it does help especially with certain poses but anyway for this piece i wanted to draw spider girl now everyone knows spider gwen but i didn't want to draw spider gwen spider gwen is the gwen stacy from another universe who turned into spider girl and instead, Peter died. <laughs> he died. Anyway, but that's not who I'm drawing. The Spider Girl I'm drawing is Anya Corazon. Anya Sofia Corazon. Um, if you look her up, you can you're gonna probably see her black costume. It's kind of like the symbiote suit for Peter. But that's not the one I'm doing right now. I'm doing the one that I remember from when I was younger. It reminded me of when in the, in the first Spider-Man movie when he does the human spider suit that he makes it at home and it's not a good costume. I like that idea. So Anya, the suit that I remember, it looks like she just made it at home with a t-shirt and she probably just drew a spider on her shirt. But I love that costume. So yeah. Now after I'm done with my sketch, go into the inks and it basically just going over my sketch layer with black. I try to use a variation of thick and thin lines. So you can see on my sketch, the thigh where it curves is gonna be thicker than when it goes down the shin. So yeah, that is my inking process i am gonna move on from this because i don't think you guys want to watch me trace over my lines for too long but i do want to show you this tip real quick i use clip studio paint i believe there's a similar tool in photoshop but it's called the symmetry ruler you put the ruler straight down where you want to draw and when you draw on one side it reflects to the other side kind of like a mirror I usually use this when I am doing like metal or mechanical drawings just because I know they need to be symmetrical. So yeah, I love that tool. Quick tip, if you need something to be symmetrical and you don't wanna draw it on both sides, use the symmetry ruler, all right? But yeah, so I'm just gonna continue and I'm gonna start my coloring process. 
Now, I don't usually do this uh, base layer sometimes, but um, I did want to see that silhouette, which I think that silhouette looks awesome. That's why I did that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use my magical wand tool and the paint bucket, pick the colors and just fill them all in. When I use the the wand, I like to uh, expand my selection. Um, you could do that in Photoshop and you can do that in Clip. I'm pretty sure you could do that in most digital art programs. Just stretch your selection just so that it gets closer to the black lines you're inking. And you will have like a little gap of white there. I mean, it's very hard to notice, but when you do notice, it doesn't look good. So I just stretch it and I fill it in. So this is my favorite part. It's the rendering. It's my most relaxing part and it's fun. So I do a combination of cell shading with uh, hard edges and some airbrushing. Um, cell shading, I love the way it looks. You don't even need to use airbrushing too much, but it's just my style. I like to do a little bit of both. So I'd say a darker brown for her skin do a little coat of shadow then a little darker and do it again I repeat this process for all the colors you see here. So I separated them into different layers. You can sort of see that on the right side, a bunch of layers there. But yeah, I separate them into different layers because it makes this part, the rendering, a lot easier. You gotta make sure you don't go out the lines and you don't go over the wrong um, part of the drawing with the wrong color. So I put them into separate layers, use clipping masks, and just paint you don't have to worry about getting out of the lines but yeah i repeat this for everything so it does take long but it's still my favorite part um, so on this next part like i said i continue this process on all the layers but i like this part especially because i show the the big shadows you can have your your cell shading to be bigger than what I've done on the face or on the skin. That uh, cell shading on the thigh, it takes up a lot of space on the thigh. And I like the way that looks. And then I soften it up as well. So I have the, the hard edge shadows, if that makes sense, and the soft shadows. So I'm going to get through it and we're going to come back. And hopefully it looks spectacular. Spectacular, spectacular Spider-Girl, yeah. I swear I should start a, a singing channel. I try singing. Yeah. Anyway. After I'm done with all the shadows, or most of the shadows, I start adding the lighting and I do that the same way pretty much like I do the shadows I do it with some cell shading sometimes sometimes you don't want to get two layers because it's just too bright but for the most part I do it the same way and I also add my soft edge lighting I feel like it makes the piece pop you can see my cell shading in the pants with the lighting i do a lighter blue and then i make it almost white and do it inside that lighter blue just like i did with the shadows and the cell shading and then i soft soften them excuse me i can't speak i soften them up uh so yeah i'm gonna just uh render this little spider and then finish this up
So here is my Spider Girl. And remember, I said it was a collab. This is what Patrick Brown did. This is his Spider Man. I have a lot to learn, but I think they look great. But it wasn't just me and him, it was all of his patrons. So this is the finished piece. I think this is amazing. All right, everybody, that was my piece of Spider Girl, my collaborative piece with. Patrick Brown, a Marvel artist, and along with a bunch of other people. I think everybody did some great work seeing all the different styles and all the different characters and actually having it work out and people actually coming together to do this big piece was amazing. And maybe, who knows, one day maybe Patrick Brown or Marvel will say, hey, Ant 217, let's do a collaborative piece. And I'll say, let me check my schedule because you know, you know your boy be busy because I'm awesome, I think. Thanks for watching.